now let's set some levels we can add levels on the side view like elevation or section view in the elevation view while it's activated I have an active button level on the plan I can do this I can create levels the same way as I create uh, my grids so I just pick my level and I can draw it by hand or I can say pick lines and enter offset like here and here Uh, so uh, I can rename my level by selecting it and and uh, enter a name for example basement and Revit will as ask me about uh, renaming corresponding view if I say yes in the project browser I will receive basement not the level 5. For example, if I enter a roof and say no, I'll have a roof in my views, but level 4 in my um, project browser. I just undo this and then I pick and uh, as you can see I can just click to level name and enter it yes or I can pick it here say F2 and rename it here and do the same thing here it is and there is one important tool when uh, you go for example to roof roof level you'll see no grids why because uh, to see your grids, grids needs to intersect your level. This one, this one, up here. Here it is. The same problem, and to uh, the problem with grid bubble is because I start to draw from wrong side I can just edit type say duplicate say other side and say here plan view on the end one here it is now on the every view I modified just this grid for example if I set it other side for another one I'll have label on the another side and uh, now I, I see just my uh, part of my grids so because I moved my grids with letters I need to work with grids with numbers same way and now it's intersect all levels here it is and roof and uh, basement has these labels uh, has these grids on it.